our enchanting Danine. Awesome job there. I hope all of our mothers are still enjoying the fruits of their labors after Mother's Day, that that buzz is still going well. Talk about a buzz. Last night, the world of soccer came alight with the PSL Awards, and I think capping an incredible season where they did take the double, the Ned Bank Cup, and of course, the league title. Kaiser Chiefs were the big winners of the night. One man in particular, well, he certainly put his hand up this season, as he has done so in the past. It was a night to remember for Kaiser Chiefs and Bafana Bafana's number one goalkeeper, Itumalang Kune. Say it with me, Itumalang Kune. He walked away with four awards last night at the annual PSL Awards. The Amakosi captain, one Ned Bank Cup player of the tournament, goalkeeper of the year, players player of the year, and the coveted player of the year award. Unbelievable hoard. Um, now, besides clearing up the T awards, um, Kune walked away with a little over 500,000 in prize money for his troubles. Not bad. Uh, capping what has been a remarkable year for the 25-year-old. Can you believe he's only 25? Kune was instrumental in Kaiser Chiefs' successes this season, undoubtedly. After the goalkeeper, he kept 13 clean sheeps in the Premiership and managed to only concede 21 goals in 30 matches, the lowest amount in the whole league. His antics were also pivotal to the Soweto outfit winning the Nedbank Cup after he pulled off some quality saves in the final against Supersport United. Unbelievable stuff, Ellie. It was absolutely an amazing evening. I must say that I enjoyed the entire package. I thought it was really, really wonderful. And congratulations to Tumaling as well. So humble, and one is just so proud of him. But I must say, the presenters last night, absolutely Consummate amazing. Consummate professionals. Yeah. Robert and Carol, two of my favorite sports, exactly. two of my favorite presenters of African professionals. Personalities, I think. And then Thomas and Minnie as well. And of course, Minnie just looked absolutely blowing ravishing minds, at minds. every single point. And you know, she said that, um, of course, you know, she has a little bit of an emotional investment in uh, one of the people that were going to win the award. And Ooh. she didn't want to say who. Oh, you um, can bet you Twitter but, yeah. is alive this morning. <laughs> I know, but it was absolutely incredible. I enjoyed it so much. But, well, someone who definitely deserves a pat on the back this year, Stuart Baxter, he has done absolute magic with Kaiser. The Chiefs. He was the recipient of the Coach of the Season Award. Unexpected and expected victory for the Englishman. I think you did well to fight off Gavin, uh, Kevin Johnson of Platinum Stars, who's also had, I think, a fairy tale rise to stardom. He led his team to a second place finish in the league and a cup semi final for the season. He deserves props there. But Baxter, who is the first coach to win the league with Kaiser Chiefs in eight years, made sure to give praise to all of the staff who contributed to the momentous season that Kaiser Chiefs have had. He just is a humble man. He must be exhausted. Oh, what a season he has yeah. had. Awesome stuff. Then we've got our goalkeeper, or rather our young player of the year, um, and I think a shoe in for goalkeeper of the year as well, the Super Sport United shot stopper Ronwin Williams. He was nominated for goalkeeper of the year against Kuna. Sadly, he was up against the man of the moment, but he walked away with the young player of the year award and well deserved it was. His performances this season saw his team also keep a staggering 13 clean sheets in the league, not to mention reaching uh, the Nebank Cup final, where they narrowly lost out to Kaiser Chiefs over the weekend. This is the second second consecutive year that Williams has won the award and will surely be a great prospect for Bafana Bafana in the future. How just a great young man as well. Awesome stuff. Absolutely. Now, this one is always very hotly contested, the goal of the season, and there were a couple of contenders here. If there was any doubt, Supersport United won their second award for the evening after their Senegalese centre-back won the award for goal of the season for an outrageous attempt in the final minutes against Mamelodi Sundowns. The tall defender well in his own half. He had a quick look up to see Calvin Marlin off his line with one swift thump. He launched the ball a solid, get this, 70 metres. Um, and that just beat Marlon over his head and he scored, I think, what will be a once-in-a-lifetime goal. More Dioff, well done, saw. And then the golden boot has to go to Morocco Swallows. Stalwart Katlejo Mashejo. This is a name we've heard in the PSL over many years. He was instrumental in their massive fight back last season that saw them end so high in the log. And, of course, he, he's just one of those players that I think plays for his team and the rest of the players on the park. So, well done to all of our PSL big winners on the night. And again, well done to Kaiser Chiefs for taking the double, man. What a Absolutely. season they've had. And, of course, for putting on such a great show as well, you yeah. know, for the rest of the country to enjoy in that uh, entertaining moment as well. Very, awesome very awesome. Awesome stuff. Well, our show continues. We've got Matthew Gold in the house. We have heard just a snippet of what's on the way this morning when he said he is about to present South Africa with something new. This is mind-blowing. Kat, I think you are pretty excited about this one. 